It's the day before the first tournament day here at Copenhagen Games 2012. I'm sitting here with MJ, KK and lifestyle coach of the team, Nicolas Pops Estop. MJ, how much have you guys been practicing before this tournament? I think we have been boot camping for three weeks now, so around 12 hours a day for the last th uh, three weeks. Uh, it's a, it was a secret before the event, but uh, I think it's time to tell that yeah, we're going for the top. So how come you had one hour before the tournament on Steam and you practiced for so long? How does that go together? Uh, Jacob from uh, Copenhagen Wolves brought us like five uh, private Steam accounts we could prank on. Uh, so we've been pregnant with less, uh, less good teams, but I think we have been pregnant like 60 hours per week. So we'll show if it pays off. But you just got raped by Fnatic in a practice war. We, no. Yeah, we, yeah, we didn't want to show any of our tactics, so it was pretty much just a free for all match. Yeah. How have the guys mentally prepared, Nicholas? They haven't. For me, it's very important to build muscular bases <laughs> for professional Counter Strike players. As you can see, lift up your arms, flex. Yeah, very important to have a, a big muscular, strong base. Like a horse, it's like a racing horse, so it was important for me to feed him right and um, train him hard. Ride him hard, physically. What is, your, what is your opinion about the groups you have here? Uh, you're playing against ESC Gaming. You've, both of you have played against them before in, the, in various teams. What is your expectations against playing against the, the Polish team? The Polish team always hard to play against. Like, yeah, It's going to be a tight match and I hope we'll be on top after the game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, if you have to meet a, meet a team like uh, the Polish guys, uh, I think it's to our advantage that it's uh, best of three maps. I mean, they're going to be tough to beat on, beat on each map anyways, but, but I think given more maps we, we might increase our chances a little bit. We haven't seen you guys in a very long time. Uh, MJ, you retired from MTW. And you've been around here and there with various mixed teams at Danish tournaments. Uh, what is the purpose of this tournament? Is it just have fun, meet up with the old friends, or...? I think it was a, it, it was a coincidence, like Jonas asked me if I want to play with uh, the ATS guys from, from uh, back in the days, so yeah, it was that uh, just yeah. random. Yeah, pretty much. Me, uh, I think uh, it was me and Mal who decided to, to try to make a team and go here. I mean, pretty much just for, for the fun of it. And yeah, just gathering some old uh, mates from, from, from the old school, if you will. Nicholas, if you had to describe each player with one word, what would it be? It would have to be in uh, the names of animals, where MJ is um, probably a gazelle, fast and swift, semi brainless, just <laughs> running. <laughs> Running forward, Andreas here is kind of an ox, big, heavy, and kind of smart when it comes to decision making. The rest are pretty much just like lemmings, stupid, and <laughs> have to tell them what to do all the time. That's why they're not here right now. Tough crowd. Yeah. yeah. Of the other teams here in the tournament, who do you think will be the main candidates? We have Navi, we have the new Fnatic. Uh, there's, there's other teams on the board as well, but who do you think will, will be the main candidates to, to walk away with the, with the 10k euros in first place price? Uh, well, besides us, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to go with Polish guys again. I mean, they're playing pretty consistent consistent every tournament they attend but uh, I mean Fnatic has, uh, has a new roster and it's always motivating when your new guys are gathering so I mean there might be a contender as well. I haven't really played against uh, Navi yet so I can't say how good they are but I'm sure Navi, SK or uh, Fnatic I would think. How big of a disappointment will it be for the players if they don't make first place Nicholas? It will be major, it will be life changing and um, I have a boot camp set up, one for if they win, one for if they lose and it's going to be bad, real bad. Either way. Mm. It's Either way bad. it's going to be horrible. Yep. So they have to, have to. Well guys, best of luck in the tournament, is there anything you'd like to say before shutting down this interview? Just uh, thanks to yeah. Jacob. Uh, who is uh, sponsoring the trip for us? Yeah. Copenhagen Wolves and um, yeah, huge, huge thanks to them for the, for the support. It's great. Shoot out and to my to uh, study group in Aarhus who are making bachelor right now. Yeah, and uh, final thanks to to Pops for for coaching us mentally through this tough, tough time. It's been great. Any lifestyle advices before shutting down? Don't eat. Don't sleep. 
Play games, don't touch yourself. Only turn anything good. Thank you guys. Welcome. No problem.